Okay, the only question I have is why are they being so nice? <laughs> um, I, I was looking at Twitter because I told you I spent a lot of time on Twitter, which is amazing because I was never really a Twitter type of person because I just didn't understand how to use the threads and the hashtags and the ats and all that kind of stuff. And I'm still not sure what I'm doing, but... <laughs> I, I can fake it to make it. So, I'm looking at the Twitter and I see this um, tweet that says uh, Meghan Markle boasts the vest, the vest. <laughs> oh my God, the vest. Meghan, um, that is a bit of a tongue twister. Meghan Markle boasts the, oh, see, I'm doing it again. Meghan Markle boasts the vest. Oh, this is tough. Okay, one more time. Meghan Markle boasts best voice to calm listeners, experts say. And so I see this. <laughs> that's a tongue twister, though. Okay, so I see this, and I'm just like, wow, that's interesting. So, of course, I open up the tweet, and guess who posted this story on their um, online rag? None other than... The Daily Fail. And I'm just like, why are they being so nice? This is in no way slanderous and mean-spirited. Now, let me caution y'all. Do not go to the Daily Mail <laughs> just because of this one story. Don't go to the dark side. Stay in the light. But I had no idea that this was even the Daily Mail until I opened it up. And I'm just like, what? So, anyway... <clears throat> But, you know, it's it's up to you if you if you want to go and seek this out. But uh, essentially it says, Meghan Markle boasts best celebrity voice to calm and motivate listeners while her slow, deliberate tone is perfect for podcasts and audiobooks, expert claims. And I'm like, why are they being so nice? This is so unlike them. Uh, of course, at some point, you know, they had to mention the price of her home. <laughs> I mean, I told you, I wake up out of my sleep and I'm like, uh, $14 million, 11 million pounds. You know, if someone says hi to me on the street, I'm like, $14 million, 11 million pounds. I just, it's, it just kicks in. It's, it's like that tick that the Duchess of Cambridge has. You know, that little tick where she can't stop grinning. She just won't stop a grinning. Well, that's my tick is I yell, 14 million dollars, 11 million pounds. <laughs> 16 bathrooms, guest house. So, um, what can I say? I've been conditioned by mass media. So this somewhat confusingly kind, I even tried to find if this article came from some other source and the Daily Mail just decided to run it, but no. I couldn't find it anyplace else. This is all Daily Mail. This is like, oh, I guess almost like wedding day coverage. You know, remember how nice they were on the wedding day? This is almost like their wedding day coverage. For some reason, it doesn't graduate into something vicious and mean-spirited. You know how they are. Okay, so it goes on to say, Meghan Markle boasts the vest. Oh. <laughs> boasts the vest. <laughs> well, I tell you what, you all try to say it and see if it doesn't come out the same way. Meghan Markle boasts the best celebrity voice to calm listeners. And <laughs> see, now I got a complex. And is perfect for podcasts and audiobooks, a vocal expert has claimed. <laughs> I can't get through this. Okay, okay. <clears throat> According to Natalie Eastwood, a vocal rehabilitation expert for performing experts, the Duchess of Sussex 40, who is currently living in her, here we go, drum roll please, <laughs> 14 million dollar, okay, yeah, this is Daily Mail, 14 million dollar mansion in Santa Barbara. Can soothe audiences 
with her confident Californian accent and slow, deliberate delivery. You know, it just, they had to get that $14 million in there. It's, like I say, it's just like cooking gourmet food. Just like you add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, you got to throw that $14 million in there. Otherwise, the conversation just cannot be had. You may not enter into a conversation without that $14 million. Okay, after analyzing dozens of celebrity voices, according to their tone, volume, pitch, and rate of speech, Natalie in identified Megan as the best female voice for relaxing listeners. Okay, okay. I mean, this is aside from dropping that 14 million K of, I'm sorry, 14 million dollars. Um, th- th- this is not bad. But again, do not go to Daily Mail just for this story. I'm just point. I found this quite by accident. And believe me, it wasn't in big headlines. Okay, so it continues to say, since stepping back from royal duty last year, the Duchess... <laughs> This sounds funny, stepping back from royal duty. Oh, well. <clears throat> Am I 12 years old? Okay, let me let me do that again. Since stepping back from royal duty last year, the Duchess of Sussex signed a $18 million deal with Spotify for a podcast series and released an audio version of her first children's book, The Bench. Self-assured former actress Megan is said to have a voice to soothe, calm, motivate, as well as varies her tone, pitch, and volume for emphasis. And at an average of 105 words per minute, her delivery is relatively slow and delivered with plenty of pauses and mild breathiness. I'm blown away by this story because it's just, it's not cruel. It's not cruel. It's not cruel, rather. There's no big lie. There's no... I mean, this... I'm trying to find... The only thing I could find was that $14 million mansion. I'm just amazed that they haven't mentioned Morgan Freeman. (laughs) You cannot discuss a voiceover without Morgan Freeman. I mean, come on. Morgan Freeman. And also, Oprah Winfrey has an amazing voice. I used to watch the Oprah Winfrey show religiously. I would watch it every day, Monday to Friday. I love the Oprah Winfrey show. Oprah has like an amazing voiceover voice. And that's why it's always difficult to watch Oprah acting in a movie or something like that. Because Oprah has such a distinctive voice. So whenever she does a voiceover, I'm just drawn into it. I mean, part of the big appeal of the Oprah Winfrey show for me was just Oprah's voice and I think Oprah has one of those voices like if you ever hear her say your name like come on out Tom Cruise (laughs) okay I didn't mean exactly that kind of Oprah voice but just a regular you know voice over a voice but uh, yeah she uh, has an amazing voice over voice and um, I wonder if the Duchess of Cambridge would consider doing the voiceover. No shade. I'm just kidding. That was pure shade. <laughs> Each year. What? Each year. What'd you say? Each year. It just drops off, poor thing. But um, her hair looks great. It always looks great. What can I say? I'm being very, very that way for this Friday, and um, I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm just having a little fun. I'm just kind of coming back to myself after all of this stuff with the Obama party, and it's the frustration of knowing that that little weasel Andrew is going to get off the hook for this some kind of way. I mean, if there's uh, money to be paid, it won't come from him. He certainly is not going to take that trip to the U.S. to um, address this matter. So it's kind of frustrating. And I'm just I'm kind of deliberately trying to take a small step back from it because it's incredibly frustrating. I can't help but think that the Daily Fail is trying to confuse us with this story just to, you know, try to catch us off guard. 
glean from it, whatever you will. Yeah, I just, I can't believe it. They just, they mentioned the mansion and then they stepped away. I'm just like, wow. So, like I say, this is just a fluke. So, to show you how the Sussexes are always on the cutting edge of whatever trends are happening, Better Up rides the mental health tech boom. That's an article that was in the Financial Times. I won't go through the entire article, but I'll just skip to the part that we care the most about. And that, of course, is the Duke of Sussex. For those unfamiliar with the coaching industry, it will be Prince Harry's appointment that brought attention to Better Up based in San Francisco. On an Instagram post, the day his role was announced highlighted the difference between Prince Harry's British button-down background and his new California startup life. Self-optimization is not about fixing something that is broken, he wrote. It's about becoming the best version of ourselves with whatever life throws at us. Robichaud insists, unsurprisingly, that Prince Harry is more than a figurehead promoting the brand. His role includes driving awareness of the brand and the issues of looking after mental health, including working on partnerships and philanthropy. They also want him to help build a global community of thought leaders. He refuses to disclose Prince Harry's salary. They met through a friend and Robichaud was struck by his passion for mental health and mental fitness. I think the fact that there's this misinformation campaign surrounding the activities of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex only leads me to believe that bigger things are coming and they're coming really fast. And it's not just a book. It's not just an animated series. But there's so many other things that are going to happen because don't forget, this is a very hardworking couple. They're a power couple. They work very hard. And they're very much into details. And together, they are unstoppable. You cannot stop this train. So I'm glad to witness this. It inspires me. It makes me want to do more with my life and to try to reach new accomplishments for myself. It just is inspiring. It lets you know that everybody has a voice inside of them. And as the Duchess says, you have to find your voice and use your voice. You already have a voice, but you just have to use it. And people should get out of your way and, and give you a chance and lift each other up. Help other people use their voices. I mean, just think how far this channel has come along. Which, by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed it, but there's over 8,000 subscribers on this channel. 8,000 subscribers. And I didn't do this by myself. It was with the help of the moderators and then, of course, the people that have joined the Super Chat and got memberships to the channel, people who comment every day. There's no way I could have done this by myself. It really does take a village. So to everyone who has participated, everyone who has contributed, whether financially or, or just by making your comments every day or both, Everybody who has shared this channel, thank you so much. So again, whatever your contribution, great or small, it all goes toward the channel. And it is just another way to have a safe space for the Sussex Squad. And not just for this channel, but for any of the other channels. By you participating, and like some of you guys say, oh, I'm sorry for the long comment. Well, you know what? That's what this is here for. This, is, this channel is here for you to express yourself. And someone said today, I'm sorry, my eyesight, I'm using all caps for my comment. Well, good, that makes two of us who have eyesight to <laughs> benefit <laughs> from, from capital letters. Believe me, I, I understand. I had my last trip to the eye doctor, I tried to convince her that I'm not seeing as well. And she's like, you know, everything that you said is age related. So if you want me to tell you that you have a problem, you do. But otherwise, your eyes are fine. You're just old. <laughs> so, uh, well, I was too vain to get the bifocals. But that I was encouraged that I do need them and I just refused to get them. But yeah, so whatever your, your contribution, great or small, 
everything benefits this channel. And of course, I, I'm putting a lot back into it because, you know, you guys, uh, when you tell me that, like a couple times, people said, oh, you haven't posted anything today. Are you okay? You know, I'm just like, wow, that really touches me, you know, because I didn't, um, I didn't see myself as being, um, I guess, so important to anybody's life like that through the social media. But, you know, I'll take it. I, I appreciate it. It gives me a greater sense of purpose. And so a lot of times when I'm like really tired and I'm going through the comment, ho hunting for those trolls, um, you know, I'm doing this for my sake, your sake, and everybody else's sanity because we just seeing those those negative nasty words and people trying to provoke some kind of response by being as cruel as possible or just talking crap it um it really diminishes us you know it's kind of like if you're going to have a i guess a a tough relationship with someone that you're involved with Better to have that away from your home <laughs> than have it in your house. And that's how this is. Better to, like, have a falling out with someone away from home. In other words, in a different medium rather than on one of the Sussex-friendly pages or channels or Twitter accounts or something like that. We all need a safe space, and we shouldn't... Um, second guess the need for it because it's necessary it's better for our mental well-being so yeah we we need to do that and i'll do as much as i can and a few times when people have pointed out oh there's a troll you know i go hunting for him you know i put on my uh resting um i guess uh youtuber face <laughs> and i go after them I mean, because sometimes I look at the things they say and I become incandescent with rage. <laughs> and I feel like something's got to be done. So, you know, thank you guys for that. Believe me, I am very appreciative of everything that I have received through this channel. The friendships, the connections, the support. All of it means a whole lot to me. So, um, yeah, that's that. So otherwise, let's all have a very productive weekend. Happy Friday to you all. And if I'm not in the live chats, you know, I'm probably, I probably have stayed up too late. But what could I say? I'm more creative at night. Um, I've just always been that way. But um, it's not that I'm just like throwing it out there and then I'm just ignoring it. But um, I love to be on the live chats and you guys are always so like connected with each other and then when i see you on other pa uh, channels it's you know it's just i love this community as it exceeds any expectations i could have possibly have had back in april when i said you know i have to give this channel a second go because before i just couldn't wrap my brain around it but then i don't know something happened in april and and here i am and here we are and it's it's all for the better so um yeah thank you with all of my being. Thank you so much.